Sometimes my role is less of a commentator and more of just a fan as a micro with a microphone. And that <laughs> is exactly how I feel right now. Sugar Nair joined by James Bot and Johnny Boy Lads. Let's get into the final quarterfinals. Uh, Sugar, you speak for all of us here. Fans of, of great Rocket League, fans of teams that are, I think, some of the most popular in the world as well. Welcome to the most hype match of the day, in my opinion. Although. You know, everybody knew that already. And I think we all saw that YouTube video by <laughs> Sunless Khan, so it's tough not to root against Ooh. Sandrock, but Justin Daz said he's the person to rely on for NRG, and he gets a hot start. They've been waiting to play against Justin, and Justin is going to let them know that sometimes your dream should remain only that. <laughs> Justin is here to crush them. What a pass as well. Squishy sniped him, and he put it at the perfect height that Justin could get up quickly for it but without having to fly too high and let the defender meet him. Ahmad now trying to take it the other way. TRK gets the first touch off the sidewall. Sandrock dominant in 50-50s against G2 earlier in the tournament. That's something that NRG I've got to look out for. But one thing that we've seen even in the other series is that now that we're on the final stage of this tournament, the playoff! Oh! Senso shuts me up with a gorgeous goal! If Justin's shot was a rocket, this was something even further <laughs> beyond! Senzo makes Garrett merely a spectator! Garrett's in now, he's waiting for that one, but he wasn't ready for a shot that fast. Isn't Senzo. that guy supposed to be a sign? Alright, 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 right, right, right. a couple of decibels down, otherwise we're gonna lose our voices real quick during this commentary. I think I'm cool with that. Yeah, you know what, I mean, it's not like we've got anything to do tomorrow, merely the semi-finals, grand finals, guess what, for you at home, you've still got an awful lot of phenomenal Rocket League still coming your way. As we do have Sandrock Gaming against NRG, currently on your screens, remember, best of seven, both teams have got themselves a timeout. And both teams desperate to represent their region in that semi-finals where FaZe Clan awaits. Love the control by Sandrock in the back corner. NRG too smart to fall for that, though. They don't want to throw themselves into these challenges. They saw what happened to G2. They see what's happened to everybody in this tournament when you just clash Sandrock head on. They're actually trying to do a bit of the same thing. Justin getting behind the ball, confident in his car's hitbox to keep it out. Well, this is some good pressure. And Senzo, we've seen him in all the interviews. Really, that that presence you can already oh tell that stabilizing presence even getting that answer back but another Whoa. shot gonna be blocked senzo on the save senzo certainly confident about their positioning as we do see a double, double bump. bump justin Whoa. takes his time <laughs> even more bump senzo he'll be dropping back down from the moon momentarily to do get off the backboard trk quick enough needs armad to support Sam Rock stuck in the center field for a little while but haven't looked too panicky about it despite some of the chaos being sent their way now the infield shot. Oh, 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 what a block. Almost deflected into the net. But Sandrock Gaming still keeping it one each. Sandrock quite happy to defend infield passes, but that's so risky. You can't let NRG oh. that, have that much space to line up their shots from that position. They really look like they're on form today already. You can tell that all the tilt and all the inconsistency we saw earlier in the tournament from NRG looks like a thing of the past. They're here to play, but so are SRG. Another chance saved by NRG. We've seen so many close 50-50s. The speed of Sandrock and NRG so well matched. You even see TRK breaking up that shot attempt. Whew. Drop Clean. down. Both teams just doing a brilliant job of giving the little slights towards the net. That one stops just for the time being. Ahmad looks for the pass. Wow. Justin had the wearable to spot that. What a read by Justin. That was a, almost a guaranteed goal from that position, but he saw the pass coming. You have to look out for those close range passes from SRG. Now, great close down from Squishy. Spaced himself perfectly away from that ball. Again, they're denying the shots before they happen. NRG still looking for their chance. This is the player that Dazarin wanted to see. Justin, when he is on form, is the most clutch player in Rocket League history. So many of this game's most legendary goals attributed to him. Now looking to turn provider. There's the set off the backboard. Is Garrett there to finish? Oh. They was, but so was the defense. And again, SRG getting up quickly to block those shots. We saw TRK do it last time, but this is an assault coming out from NRG. You can see low boost for TRK. They're going to have to battle out of this one. They're just getting behind the ball. They're buying some time here. 
Grabbing that 100 boost pad in the corner. NRG had a lot of pressure. They weren't able to steal the 100 pads while they had that pressure, though. And I think they're tentative to move all the way forward and risk a counterattack. One minute left now. This is where the pressure starts to really ramp up. Midfield, Ahmad needs to try and take this by himself. Instead, leaves it for TRK. Sean almost managed to catch Squishy flat-footed. Rare enough that that tends to happen. Another demo. General NRG have been so physical at times throughout this game. These want these demos. Realize that breaking down the defense is difficult. Not so difficult when you've got no cars to get the ball past. Oh my. Pass the ball on though. And Squishy takes the ball back under his own control. Looks like both teams are just as good of a match for each other as Squishy said in the pre-match interview. They've got a lot of respect for each other. Of course, Sandwork have had that respect for Squishy and NRG for a whole lot of years waiting for this matchup. Oh, another tight angle oh, shot. Oh, oh, oh. This time the post saves NRG. That was a similar angle as well to Senzo's goal. Final seconds, taking away last chance for NRG. Oh, it's oh. too high. TRK to the other side of the field. He's got Senzo, aims for him, and Senzo oh. just needed oh. half the oh, car more. And that would have been the goal. Well, it's rare you see both teams so close to losing. No danger, Sandrock. Still in this one. NRG, some good chances as overtime begins. TRK needs to buy his team a bit of time. Get that boost back up. Both teams having a shootout of sorts. No real midfield challenge has been presented by either side. It's just your turn, then my turn to have a chance. And Justin wants to maintain that. Senzo. Too low boost to find another tap off the backboard, so he ends up leaving it. Justin on the far side. He's now tasked. What a great first touch that was. Ceiling reset. No time to continue playing, though. Popped over the top center. Had to get that in time because he was being hunted midair. Great defense from SRG. They're challenging well. They're faking challenge as well. NRG, no fear. They charge in for the win. Half flip save by TRK. Unbelievable presence of mind from TRK. He knew he had to stay in that spot, even though he already jumped, using that backflip, denying that low post shot. That's kept SRG in it. Booming clear from Senzo. Squishy, not the best first touch. <laughs> TRK lying in wait. And now it's Slamrock Gaming's turn. Well, at least there was oh. temporarily. There's the opportunity. Would have been covered nonetheless by Senzo. Minute and a half gone. What a great first game this has been. And it has only been the first game. You just wonder who's going to have that huge moment. Here's Garchi. Simple shot saved by Ahmad. you got to go simple sometimes. Now it's Senzo's turn. He's looking at one defender. Oh. Well done from the man on the recovery. Demoing him from behind, helping out his goalkeeper. Uncanny speed still. That save from Ahmad. He was up so quick. He might have even pre-jumped that, reading where that shot was coming in. The SRG defense on the goal line is sustaining all this pressure from NRG, who's had a majority of the possession, but still so closely matched. And now a chance for Senzo. Gonna be shut down. Justin, he's got targets downfield. Goes underneath oh, TRK. Ahmad oh, is all by himself. Oh, oh, the oh, oh, Where's the follow? Oh, there it is. Garrett G gives NRG game number one. In a field full of all-stars, Justin, first to pop off. Senzo had to expect the double tap there from Justin. Make, well, really a triple if you think about the air dribble as well. But it was actually Garrett following up with the top left finish that gives NRG the win. But but that's trademark Justin. You see how weird that second touch was? He was mid-air roll, awkward touch, but it was enough to throw off the defense. Justin making himself a threat in case the defender's thinking he's going for the bump. Easy cleanup for Captain America. NRG, though, they were well matched through that entire game. The speed from SRG, specifically on the defensive touches, yeah. It was masterful. I think we're in for a treat. Well, they, they've talked about this earlier on in the tournament. They're trying to sit back a little bit. They're waiting for the ball to come to them. And then they're trying to start those counterattacks. So this is clearly something that they've tried for this event specifically. But anyone who's watched this team a lot in the past, you know that they know how to go all guns blazing as well. And it's only a matter of time before that starts to happen. If NRG continue to have this uh, advantage, they had loads of shots. Still a lot of clear-cut chances for SRG. And you talk about guns blazing. To me, the biggest gun that I've seen over the course of this major has been Ahmad. But where has he been on the offensive end, Johnny? We expect those types yeah. of highlights. For me, the star player on SRG has been Senzo so far. Yeah, Senzo had a huge goal, Ahmad. It, you know, it's usually more of a question of when will he get an absolute whirly of a goal rather than if, but he didn't get it in game one. 
looking at that game as well, Sanarok were very happy to take on the defensive responsibilities on the field. And of course, you can feel comfortable right there, but against NRG, you can only give them that option so many times. I feel like for me, Samrock needs to be a little bit more urgent about how they get rid of the ball. Well, it's NRG Garrett dying boost in the midfield there. He's taking two big fives, but that's because he knows he's being followed by an opponent. So he doesn't want to leave that back corner for a teammate. It's just going to get stolen. Feel from Senzo back to him. Ooh. And Senzo would have loved to give it straight back to TRK, who is still around here. Zero boost, zero problems for him. Senzo just baiting anybody. Come and take this challenge if you like. Justin happy to take on the duel. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm out if he won that challenge. That was their way through. And it looked like there might have been a side flip from Garrett there. Yeah, great little touches. It's these mind games that are sneaking in. Justin able to win the game for NRG with a mind game running into an air dribble. And uh, there as well, Ahmed pretended to take the ball across the box instead, keeping it near post, as they've done so often this series. Not the best first touch. Ooh. Both these teams covering each other so well. So many of those chances we see just drop down. Almost certain that the next touch could be a goal scoring one. And instead, the defense has always been around, cleaning up the problem. Senzo, not the best touch from him. Thankfully, though, it is a wall of blue covering him. And has got a boost here. No flip yet. Decides to just take the midair 50-50 instead. TRK as well. You know, he's another highlight real player. Sandrock have three of them on their team. Who's it going to be? It was Justin in game one. Really could be anyone in this field to pop off and take it. And we've seen a lot more aggression out of Sandrock. Not afraid to half turn, not rotate out, going for block after block. Ahmad again getting another 50-50 on the second effort. NRG, they're starting to experience some pain trying to keep SRG out of the net. Garrett wanted to take Ahmad instead. Ahmad was already there, shot. Oh. Shouldn't test Justin too much directly at him. Squishy. Now up against Senzo mid-air. Senzo waits for his opportunity. Did not want to take the challenge. Instead, the ball just drops right over to him, and now Squishy can become the passing option. Wow. And what a great player it is, because you've got to remember, that is ball cam on, and you still have the wearable to know where the player is behind you. Yeah, pass is getting cut off left and right. Both teams having a great read on each other, and that's when the, the tricks, the mind games, the solo plays become all the more valuable. If you're going to go into phase in the next round, you need to think about that as well, as Senzo shows us one. Dancing to the side of the field. Squishy this time, off the ceiling, has to flip, and he will. Again, near post defense for SRG. Paying yeah. a tribute to Musty, even though Musty decided not to go with him for the pick. <laughs> that would be a bit, I think, too far to just <laughs> <laughs> remove a mechanic from your arsenal just because he predicted against you. <laughs> Out of spite. Just score the goal and stare at him. Just let him know. Oh, team bump. Garrett, if he had any more boost, he still might be able to make something of this. Drops over to Justin. Wow. And Sandrock Gaming will be disappointed at the lead up to this goal. Yeah, it looks like Ahmad just wasn't paying attention to his teammate's position. TRK completely outboost. Tried to roll the ball up the back wall. It bounces off, and that's all NRG needed. Clinical from the North American top seed. And, and Shogun, I don't know what kind of magic you have, but as soon as you said that, that corner boost popped up for Justin and gave him just enough to get that pass out to the middle. But for Sandrock, what we're seeing is some really... They're trying to go fast, Ooh. but it's coming off a bit panicked. And you can see it even on defense to go. And Justin will get another one for NRG. Justin really on form today. He's in the right position. It's that predator instinct arriving at the right time. Picks his spot as well. Ahmad, he had a brilliant save earlier on in the tournament, but I know even he can get around that to keep it out of the net. NRG have proven themselves to be quite lethal when they get the opportunities. It has been one of the big tests for everybody as we turn back to LAN, is how good is your shooting? Because we've seen a lot of players you know, struggling with that opportunity, choking when the ball lands them, but Justin having absolutely none of that. And I mean, you, you even think back, Shogun, oh, as we see a Ooh. chance go by the wayside for Sandrock, there was a, a play where TRK had a run up, an open shot on net, and he shot it right at Justin. Yeah. SRG's going to have to up their game if they want to take it to NRG. Well, they're just uh, having a bit of um, a problem creating that real golden opportunity. NRG survived the onslaught early on, and they were clinical, unlike their Mina opponents. Under a minute left for SRG. And one thing that we are seeing, though, from NRG is a very solid defensive formation when they are stuck on their own back third. Two players in the goal line, as we see Justin I'm going to try and just finish this game off. But you are putting two players on the goal line or backboard, and then Squishy's typically just sitting off the back post, allows him to spot the danger. And that's the reason why we're getting a lot of commits from those players in the goal, and then Squishy just cleans up immediately afterwards. Sarok so do need to try and figure out 
a way of breaking that one down, making it so Squishy cannot react and get rid of the danger. And I think it's going to have to come from team plays, and we see one here. Senzo opting to go for the dribble, and you see the bump come out from Squishy, who had Huge. no boost, and that was the best play you could make in that situation. Yeah, just staying on the ball. It's all about ball pressure. There's no point, like, leaving your team in the hunt for boost when you're under attack. Squishy making a couple of key interceptions late in the game here, keeping Sandrock Gaming at bay, and that is game two, NRG. Wonder if we're gonna see that timeout called by the Middle Eastern team. Well, that is the first game that I have seen from Samrock where it really looked a bit toothless in offense. That was the first one where NRG had times where they were under pressure, but no real goal scoring opportunities for Samrock. And I do agree, I do think that we do need to see that timeout maybe used, but I haven't heard anything. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what things go. The thing is, sometimes you you play a game out, you don't you know don't even come close to getting a win. Um, there it is, hey, timeout, like, Sandrock. So there is going to be a, a timeout here. Uh, before that, I was going to say maybe you know they won't call one because it doesn't get mechanics. And so I think now is the time where we go over to Greg and hear what he has to say about this timeout. We're seeing a few too many errors here from Sandrock. I think I think they need to settle in, take a moment now to relax, find their footing, and get that execution back. This is not what we're used to seeing from Sandrock. We normally see so much mechanical brilliance from them. A little bit more needed from them next. And right now, when you're looking at NRG, is this the sort of NRG that you're expecting, or have they kind of changed things up a little bit compared to previous rounds? Yeah, they're, they're playing patient. We know from NRG they have the ability to adapt well. They've done it so well in their own region. They're looking more comfortable now, and they're waiting for those mistakes and punishing them. Well, it does look like Sandrock are ready to go again. Thank you very much, Gregan. And hopefully we'll get to hear more from you, because if we do get to hear more from you, it means that NRG required the timeout. Ooh. So maybe we'll get to hear more later on. But before then, we need to see Sandrock Gaming bounce back. Garrett G, that is not a, that's an aggressive pose right now. That's not a gamer <laughs> pose. He is ready to just launch himself <laughs> in this next game. Uh, you know, sometimes you can affect your uh, emotions with a bit of, uh, you know, body language. So power pose there from the general. Garrett G has got um, NA's number here, but that will be huge. A guaranteed EU versus NA final. I know NRG are not thinking about that right now. They've got a lot of respect for Sandrock, who have got insane comeback potential. So they're going to be focused on the task at hand. And as for Sandrock Gaming, you know, they just really need to go for it here. Go out in their yeah. shield or pop off. And I think one of the things they really need to try to focus on is incorporate that team play. Mm. Right now, individually, we've seen a few efforts and they have not been working out. Go for those. Just be brave. If NRG intercepts that infield pass, then so be it. But if you can get a nice pop up to Ahmad, let him go for a double tap. Let him get that clip. Just let Ahmad get ignited, then maybe SRG can burn down the NRG house. I mentioned it in the first game how it seemed like the midfield isn't really a battleground for either team at the moment. Uh, oh, oh my oh, goodness! Oh, oh, that was it! Oh, but now Garrett almost had the ball come over to him. <laughs> well, way to start that would have been. Still, opportunities for NRG. Which Justin doesn't quite get the fake. I feel like Samrock needs to just almost take a step back at times when in the offense, because NRG are so solid when they've got all three of three players back. But Samrock on the counter-attack, getting those infield passes whilst everyone's still transitioning, that could be their opening. Well, big chance Justin. here for Justin. Oh. He's really been on farm today, and you know, Dazarin pointed him out as perhaps you know a, a player who can just dominate the series, which I'm sure everyone would agree with, but also a player that you're not really sure of. This event now here is Garrett G. Oh, Drop him in. Save. What a save in DRK. Senzo's got to be fast, and he is. Oh, man, how much boost has he got left? He also went up. That's the well, shot, play. and there oh, is the good. goal. Well, I mean, you can't blame Sandrock for trying. Look at that first effort blocking out the shot, but then that touch wow. from Squishy. Yeah, you know, it doesn't get any better than that from NRG. I mean, what a pass. The vision from Squishy's been on point today. NRG connects with another infield. Garrett G just that bit faster to the ball. Clinical as well. That's really been the main difference there. You know, they're taking their chances and they are passing better than Sandrock Gaming. Also, they're doing a phenomenal job handling the solo plays. And NRG, this is them in championship form. All these players have won a world championship. Garrett and Justin. Oh, hold Whoa. on. Senzo sneaking this one in under the bar. That is so much better from Sandrock. And deft as you like. Oh, my. Senzo didn't need to put it behind Squishy. Actually, I think he did. Squishy still seemed to have it covered. But Sandrock Gaming. 
putting some life back into their gameplay. Well, unreal speed there from Ahmad to get a clean touch on the ball. Energy, one of the fastest teams in the world. To just completely beat someone on this team shows that you are also incredibly quick, but they need to do so much more here. Energy still backing off consistently. Sandrog need to be careful not to overextend, but Energy, look at them, just looking for the oh, 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 what a bump! Oh. Ahmad gets a second for Sandrog. That bump, let's take another look at it. Garrett thinking he's gonna have a chance. Oh. No way, Ahmad from the sky launching it down. Well, if you're sick of the goal line defense, be sure that there is no goal line defense. TRK takes matters into his own hands. 2-1 Sandrog, and they're now gonna look to try and get themselves a third. But first, they've got to deal with Garrett. And already still looking good in the 50-50 game. No clear weakness there for Sandrock to exploit. It's these infield passes by Squishy. Consistently brilliant. So good to see energy on form. Garrett testing Ahmad. Hops it into the corner. TRK does have Senzo to help. Who does choose to stay back? Probably the better of the options. Don't need to permit two as it goes off the backboard. Oh. And TRK. Wow, he is defensively <laughs> on it right now. I mean, that's the second time he's called NRG's bluff oh lower right hand corner. Oh my. Sandrock. Oh, oh that's my. just going to be wide. But you can see the fight this time out. They've come back looking like a new team. You see TRK walk into the venue. You wouldn't think that. He's gonna really do any damage to anyone. Such a <laughs> such a nice guy, but three dominant touches on the ball. Energy needs to be careful throwing themselves in. Chance for Garrett G. Goes high. Here's the follow-up. Wow. Denied by Sandra. Oh, Senzo being able to get up and block out the angle. He couldn't get a touch on the ball, but he blocked out the angle. However, NRG oh. not done yet. Squishy trying to get another setup. Senzo again! Clock in the <laughs> lane! Now we have a shot. It's in! To each! And Justin will do what took NRG oh so very long to accomplish. That was valiant by SRG, but well struck by Justin. Predicting the pre-jump, something Sandrocker very known for in defense. Slotting it behind that last defender tie game in a must-win game for Sandrock. And Sandrock had that near post covered. You saw Ahmad low, Senzo went high, but that placement, just what was needed, but the response! Oh! Will we see it? Pressure still mounting. TRK has to go up. What a save that was. Both teams putting in work in defense here. Still Sandrock in attack. NRG have been the better team on the back foot so far. Garrett gonna try and follow up his own touch. Almost took out Zenzo. Narrowly avoided being demoed. Now back to the midfield. Zenzo oh. almost able to at the ball. A little bit closer towards that NRG net. Tension ramping up here. Minute and 15 left. In a game that Sandrock must win. Zenzo to Ahmad. Great decision making though from Ahmad, he's not committing to plays. He could potentially leave his team exposed at the back. Instead, this is the one that he wants. One gone. Ooh. Already get the demo on one. That's going to leave it over for TRK. Ooh. That was dangerous. When you pop in that position, you're potentially leaving your net open. Oh now after the backboard. Senzo! Oh. No more pressure anymore. What's a touch? I mean, not like he had many options. NRG still piling on. Oh, what a demo! Squishy takes out the defender right as he's about to save the <laughs> shot. NRG giving Sandrock a taste of their own medicine. Squishy on the prowl and see you later. That was going to be another save. Senzo defensively has been fantastic. That last play, getting off the backboard, that extra touch, sending it out to the middle, that at least gave Sandrock a chance at keeping NRG at bay, but NRG has been ruthless and another save coming out. Shot again blocked by NRG. Sandrock do not want to let this position go. They got 30 seconds, otherwise they face a reverse sweep required just to get themselves through to the semifinals. Member FaZe Clan waiting in the wings for either of these two teams. And this is not what they want to see. Justin dancing his way around everybody. The Senzo takes it away. A great play by Senzo in defense once again. We can Sandrock transition. It's NRG keeping the ball on attack. And what a play by Justin. Wasting the time by the air with the air dribble. Great 50 by Senzo. Ahmad. 
Can he get it over to a teammate? Oh, NRG too Ooh. critical. But Senzo keeping it alive. Now they need to regain possession of the ball, and okay. they cannot do so. The general NRG one game away from the sweep. And even in those last moments, you're seeing how clinical Squishy is with his touches defensively. That time, just trying to get that clock to hit zero. One demo, all game for NRG, and it's the, <laughs> it's the winning goal. That is unbelievable. But what a demo it was. It was so perfectly timed. And this is, I think, one of the best thing, uh, games we've seen from Ahmad, in particular, from SRG. Look We're talking he about- He pre-jumps him. Squishy pre-jumps him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he could kind of tell what angle that shot was coming in, but I agree with you wholeheartedly, Johnny. That double tap pass, that was really what you could see kickstart the yeah. Sandrock team, and not every good double tap is a goal. Sometimes the best w thing you can do for the offense is be unpredictable on that backboard to get those rebound chances out in the middle. I'm starting to think now that maybe Sandrock just needs to take a, a page out of NRG's book, because at this point, three down, best of seven, they've got to be thinking, it's chalked, right? <laughs> it's chalked. That's how they're going to turn this one around, but great to see energy on farm. They have been a bit wishy-washy this weekend, but the farm continues. Good oh. start by Sandrock Ahmad with a goal steal to go one up in game four. Perhaps padding the stats a little bit. <laughs> Senzo coming in, you know. He, oh, boo. Uh, you know, yeah, you take them. You, you know, take them. It, it, <laughs> they might be getting paid per goal. Who knows? <laughs> Well, there's the one. Uh, many more required from Sanrock. But every good story does have a bit of drama, and what a story this would be if Sanrock Gamer could somehow miraculously turn this around, even bumping into each other in the midfield. You know, we've seen uh, pretty excellent plays out of Senzo and Ahmad, but one player I'm still waiting to show us what they're made of is TRK. We've seen a few looks that he's come up short on. Now is the time. SRG have the lead if he can get a nice goal, a nice pass, then maybe SRG can start turning it around. But if you want to know where TRK is, I can find you for him. He's right there. Ooh, okay, well, good timing on that. You're certainly was, but typically if you want to find him elsewhere, it defense. has been on his own goal line. Yeah. He has been forced <laughs> to just stay back there the entire time, unable to show off any of that offensive prowess. I love that from Justin. Just take your time. And for me, Johnny, oh, wait a second. That's actually going to be trickling in and send so. Oh. I'll give him that he knew exactly that one. But, you know, when you look at a game like this, I think the 50-50 game you would typically give to Sam Rock. But what NRG do better is they set the rules for that 50 every wow. single time. You are playing into well them! Played. And Squishy is playing NRG towards that semi-finals. Look at the formation from NRG. Squishy at the back post, denying the clear. TRK hitting a bit too far out into the middle. And there's absolutely no way the Squishy's going to miss from there. And you can see Senzo was already up for that as well. And if maybe he's the one that gets that hit, it might pop out beyond that midfield. The worst thing that you could do is set that ball down on the ground, bouncing in front of your net. You're asking for a power shot like that. But SRG, they're not out of it yet. But N NRG, you said it in formation. This is what they do. So tactical on the field. The communication so tight. The speed. Oh. And now another chance. Sandrock need to get off this back line. They have had boost. They're just a little bit too hesitant for my liking. Senzo with a clear. Nobody to aim for. He just wants to try and chase it down. Finally, a little bit of breathing room for Sandrock. Ahmad to TRK. G sniping the ball out of mid air. Not allowing anything to develop for Sandrock Gaming. Oh my, Justin. Being able to keep control of the ball like this when you've got people pre-jumping you miles ahead is simply unreal. He really is on form at the moment. And another thing NRG have done so well is adapting to the Dutchess. Justin gets another one for them. 2-1 to the general NRG. Garrett forcing a bad touch. And Justin beating Ammo, who's trying to turn around and get in the way of the ball. And a lot of times with how hard those are going, bouncing off the wall, sometimes you lose track of where that challenge is coming in. And Justin, so fast. We talked about the speed of SRG, but Justin, when he's playing his game, Daz is right. He is the guy. Sandrock, maybe for the first time, have been outpaced. Jenner and RG getting closer and closer to that semi-finals. Johnny? I'll tell you what they've done. They've, they've just picked their battles so well. NRG aren't diving in when they aren't sure. And I think Sandrock are maybe going when it's maybe their ball, maybe the NRGs. They're just going anyway. That is just experience for NRG to understand the spacing and to pick your battles is something that they've done so many times in this set. And something NRG's always done since the very beginning, it seemed, is 
be able to dominate these really close games. When it's a brawl, it seems evenly matched, but somehow they maintain that extra little edge over their opponents, and that's the way it's been for Sandrock. Sandrock has been in all of these games, but NRG has had that slight advantage that they've maintained throughout. Senzo can turn. He's got very little boost. Still try to create something from it, but there's another challenge won by Squishy. Charging down to the other side of the field. He's not going to have support for a while. Instead, he delays it. Almost had Garrett G turning up from the midfield. Senzo needs to follow up. Justin will be looking for his chance. Sandrock Gaming that need that chance. Hamad, where's the infield? It's right there! Ooh. And as close as you like, whistling past the ball. What a pass by Ahmad, but unfortunately the follow-up was just a bit too late. And now only a minute and 15 remains for Sandrock Gaming. They need a goal. NRG are spreading out. They're covering all areas of the field. They are ready for everything Sandrock throws at them. Oh, but that's a missed touch. You can see Garrett having to clear it out, but it results in an opportunity again across the middle. That is the right play to make. Just a few car links short of making it happen. He starts to wonder now whether or not that play is now going to be scouted out by the general NRG. You only get a couple of those before the positioning changes. TRK. Spot Senzo tries to get there! Oh. And Squishy oh. has been unbelievable this series once again. Far too big to get past. What a save. Now, 33 seconds for Sandrock. They've created chances. They haven't taken any of them. NRG are denying them again and again. Now here's CRK. He walks it in. Sandrock tie the game. And you can see Justin trying to work with low boost. He side flipped to the wall, trying to get another challenge on it. But TRK sniffing out the defense nicely, picking it apart. And now he gets involved. I was calling him out, but this is a huge goal. Only 26 seconds left. Sandrock tie it up. What I love there is he didn't panic too much. It was been very easy to, once again to go for the infield, but that might have slowed the play down too much where NRG would have been back in position to stop the shot. 16 seconds. Next goal decides Sandrock's fate. Drops out to Garrett. Wow. Senzo, crucial contact for Squishy. He's waiting around for his opportunity. Drops down to Justin. And another save. But it's going to be NRG. Oh. One more time. Look to finish oh. it. And Sandrock Gaming quick enough to send us to overtime. Sandrock Gaming, hold on. NRG still want that sweep. They do not want to give Sandrock any foothold in this series. You know this is a dangerous team. We saw it from complexity earlier against BDS. Starting the comeback. NRG don't want any of that. Oh, a nice set. But Senzo will clear it out. Senzo trying to be a hero. Pass out. Oh, it's going to be slightly off target. Ooh. Ahmad, now tasked with keeping the pressure on. He's got no support for the time being. He's just going to try and buy his team time. Get them back in position. Here's the shot. Going to be high. First one to it, TRK. Ahmad, next up on the plate. NRG turning wisely when they can, when they've got chances. Trying to keep the pressure on Sandrock, who haven't had the best clears in this game. That's what NRG are looking for. TRK leaves it. Senzo, unable to guide the ball past Garrett. Looking for the chance here instead. Testing TRK, who does pass with flying colors. Senzo has the ball go underneath him. Now the transition from Squishy. Oh, this could be it. TRK has to get a good stop. Rebound will come out. Oh, backboard denied wonderfully by TRK. That is a big boom in the sh You saw him on there wanting <laughs> to take that shot. Yeah, Squishy knew better than to let him have one. Garrett looked like he was lining up so much momentum for that 50. But it's sent back the other way. Sandrock providing resilience in the last stand. I just saw our entire desk just lean back like a gust of wind. It caught them off guard. Closer and closer. Could be edging towards the end of this series. Good pinch from Senzo. Everybody from the General NRG are back in position. Not the best touch from Ahmad. TRK going to just chase down. Needs to keep this one going. He's done exactly that. Not only was that a tough read, but to get that second touch after boosting out, that was massive to buy more time for Sandrock. TRK. Midfield, Ahmad does win the chase. Okay, leaving it is Justin Garrett by himself. You can see the swarm of blue around oh! him. Open there, and TRK <laughs> will be so happy to see that in. Oh, the grin on TRK's face, that's how you, that roll into the open net.
That must have been the most nervous open net he's ever had to hit, but he, he put it safely down the middle, as you always should. Sandra Gaming put one on the board. NRG still looked really good, though. I think overall in that game, they had the better chances, in my opinion, by far. But what a stand in defense by Sandra Gaming. I, I, they continue to impress me with the awkward backward bounce. It's a lot of times bouncing off the backboard, which you don't want to let happen at all. That makes those reads so much more difficult when you have to get up with the ball cam right above you. So, so difficult. But TRK, There's your man. He, he <laughs> stepped up. I called him out, and he answered the call. Massive performance from him. That overtime goal, taking advantage of that low boost. Poor Garrett hit. Sandrock, they're back in it. Well, you know, it's really great to see smiles on their faces. we got to remember, this is the, the dream for these guys. They've watched NRG for years. They've watched these individuals for years. They've always dreamt of playing them on LAN. They're living the dream, but that's not the only reason they're here. They do believe in themselves. Can they get more wins? Over to Wasteland. Game number five. Opportunity for Senso immediately. San Rock, if they are going to make this reverse sweep happen, they would like a couple of wins to happen a little bit easier than the last one we just saw. They'd love a Mickey win. <laughs> oh, you, you would take this. <laughs> you take any win at this They would take point. two goals right now, no real work required, and just sit on it for about four minutes. <laughs> and, and the other good news is as well, I think if San Rock takes this game, I would expect to see a timeout from the general NRG to, to recoup. And now oh. we might see a big time goal, TRK, Ooh. just off. TRK's getting involved in the offense, just like you asked for, James. Sandrock are looking better for it. No doubt, TRK has been that missing link for Sandrock, who's been so close game after game. And what finally got him over that hurdle was TRK's performance. TRK, once again, didn't really have a shooting angle where that would have gone in. Far too many cars just diving straight at him. Something NRG did exceptionally well earlier in the series, and I think something that Sandrock should be trying to do now is force bad saves, because against world-class goalkeepers like NRG, you're not going to score most of your shots from that distance. You have to just put the ball in an awkward position. Sandrock, I think, maybe a bit too much just trying to force the issue. And sometimes what you're talking about, Johnny, is exactly right. You take a shot that you know will be saved, but sometimes can bait out that double commit yeah. on the goal line. We saw NRG do that before. Justin. Takes back under. Can he get a second stop? Oh, TRK. I mean, absolutely none of it. Now Senzo called into action. Does what is required, and it's a good bounce for him to continue following. Zero boost, but nobody on NRG is going to know for the time being. Goes to steals 100. It's a small but vital win for Sandrock Gaming. It's going to slow NRG down in the long run. Well, I mean, you know, Senzo knows there's no point throwing himself at a wild block from that range. You might as well drive ahead, demo. A big chance for SRG. Yama oh. denied by Squishy. Another follow up shot from TRK. And that one will make it 1 0. Ah, oh, and things are starting to get interesting. Sandrock awake in a weak shot. And that was just what you said, Johnny. I just throw a shot in, force the rebound, and a quality goal. You're seeing that large bead of sweat drip down Dazarin's forehead on the desk. He's watching <laughs> with I'm, a I'm nervous just looking at energy. Gregan's <laughs> warming up his voice box. He's ready for a timeout. He's got more things he wants to talk about. Of course he does. Uh, we know they're at where their heads are at right now. They're expecting <laughs> SRG to take this one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's just trying to find a way around. Ever since the call, I think he's maybe got the James Bot commentary pack going on right now. <laughs> Heard the call out, and he's more than happy to try and respond. There's off the backboard. Who's there first? Squishy. He does yeah. have target options over in the midfield. Samrock Gaming having a better time on these challenges. Squishy's doing something today for NRG that we don't always or even often see from him. He's being the disruptor. He is reading the game so well, cutting off the passes, intercepting the plays, and when he's out of boost in defense, he's chilling out. Oh, that was close for Senzo. NRG on the back foot despite being one goal behind. Look out for Squishy to keep on reading the plays, staying on the ball, keeping the pressure on SRG. Senzo backboard leaves it. And nobody's there yet again. Sandrock needs to start being a little bit more trusting of this. Oh, That's a fantastic oh, oh, oh. shot. But that shot needed to be there two seconds earlier. You see Garrett, a panicked hit out to the corner. NRG's trying to stabilize, barely keeping their heads above water. This game is flying by. Less than two minutes left. Sandrock, they're setting the tempo. What a save it was, though, again. NRG really making this tough as so many teams would have conceded. Now it's Sandrock starting to defend, and defend they do. Ahmad transitions, but goes too low. Nobody around for Sandrock just to run straight onto the shot. They'll be perfectly okay with that though. Minute and a half left. 
Best first touch, Squishy takes over. Maybe even setting Justin up, who does immediately back down. NRG, as much as they want that goal back, they also know they cannot afford to concede yet another one. Justin on the ceiling! Oh! What a shot! Oh! Takes the ball out! Squishy got another touch on the ball! It was one of the what? widest touches that he <laughs> could even make! But it was enough to keep that ball out! Well, you know, Senzo's a regular and a longtime subscriber to another famous Rocket League player, Jesse. And he must have thought that, so he's up against there. <laughs> it's not, not a squishy <laughs> thing to do to save his own shot. 45 seconds left, Sandrock trying to oh, hold on! Oh, Senzo so Open net, and in it goes! Of all of the hits Senzo could have got, this was the very oh. worst of them. And he had to react quickly because Justin, the speedy boy, again, being a thorn in the sign of Sand Rock Gaming. Senzo's not happy about that one, and he shouldn't be. He had time, but he didn't think he did. Sand Rock once again in a tie game, needing a win. NRG are one goal away from the semifinals. I wasn't saying it looked comfortable, but hey, it was a little bit better for Sand Rock up until that point. A one-goal lead, just needed the time to tick, tick away. Oh. And now they're up against it. Squishy did not get the 100 boost. That's a good win for Sandrock. Just now 20 seconds left. They're right back where they were in game four. Not a great touch. Garrett chases down. TRK under pressure, even gets the 100 boost. That means he can keep playing after the fact. Once the challenge from Justin does go underneath, maybe Sandrock can get one final opportunity. TRK and Senzo both weighing up their options. Senzo goes low on the 50. They've scored a zero second goal in G2 this tournament. They're not going to get one this time against NRG. Another overtime and another chance for NRG to clutch that semi-final spot. But Sandrock, they've seen NRG bleed. They know they can be beaten. Ooh. And you see the bloodbath out on the field. Demos from Squishy, he's been aggressive. Will that be the difference maker? Well, they, see, they said they seen them bleed. They also just saw their life talk fly before their eyes. <laughs> that was not what Sanrock wanted to see. So late are NRG moving into this ball. Senzo, pass to himself. Doesn't oh, wow. get too much more, but this might be the position. Who's there first? Again, Sanrock, they do not want to commit in those positions. Feels like their play that they want is a little bit cleaner than what they're getting. They have to invest so much just to create a chance. No one's there to finish it very often. NRG defending oh, no. brilliantly. Justin oh, you don't want to see him. It. And Ahmad reads the fake very well, comes back down. Garrett lands on his own touch here. Ahmad, ceiling double out of defense. Happy to use mechanical plays to get the ball out of that end of the field as well. Big chance for Garrett G again. Senzo's on the backboard, waits for the bounce. Confidence for SRG still. <laughs> and a bit too long of a clear there from Senzo. Boom ball back and forth. A lot of times you see that happening when neither team wants to be that first one to take a risk. Garrett takes a shot. Oh! Almost in against Sanrock. Barely escaping with their tournament lives. Ahmad called into action. Far side pass. Nobody around from Sanrock. You can see how this situation is starting to get oh. them. They don't want to go for it all the time. Oh! Oh! Has got a hold of the second game. We, ladies and gentlemen, a real quarterfinal on our hands. TRK, remember the name. Sandrock take two straight in OT. And suddenly, a series that looked inevitable for NRG is in the balance. James, is there anyone else on Sandrock you want to call out? I think I better stop talking, wait, otherwise wait, wait, wait. I might get a phone call from Daz. Say, and say I don't want that. Say the name. Say Ahmad or Senzo. <laughs> well, honestly, where's that clip from Ahmad? You know, we're waiting for that one. We got TRK, we got Senzo. But, uh, you know, careful. Um, careful. I, I, you know, be careful what you ask for, but... Honestly, this is beautiful Rocket League right from the get-go. The pace. Sandrock Gaming is I mean, bringing the best out of NRG. I, I don't know how... Energy are going to feel a bit unlucky about oh. this, to be honest. That, they that, should that, have shot, had it. that shot by Squishy, the goal that they did get was a Senzo mistouch. And then as well, I think they had a, another shot that looked like a guaranteed goal. They had like just three half chances across. at least. I mean, Sandrock survived by the skin of their teeth there, but... It's NRG who have to remain consistent because we've seen Sandrock pop off and annihilate many a team and it could happen. And the, and the speed is there, the 50s. We're seeing them so closely matched. Now, it seems like the tables have turned, whereas Sandrock couldn't find out how to get around the NRG defense. Now we're seeing Sandrock 
keep NRG at bay. The only goal we saw in that last game from NRG was not that impressive. It was a result from a mistake. When will we see NRG be the ones making the plays happen? I feel like in the earlier games, NRG were forcing so many mistakes. They were putting Sandrock in awkward positions. Do you think maybe this should sat back a little bit too much and waited for that mistake to happen by itself? It seems like it. Now Sandrock is figuring out what to do with that space. Well, Sandrock still have on occasion got in their own ways <laughs> a little bit. Thankfully for them, NRG feeling the pressure just as much as they are. Ahmad ends up leaving it. And see, okay, couldn't quite adjust the play in time. Still, Sandrock in a good spot. One game away. I mean, at this point, you already start to believe. Quick reminder as well, General NRG do still have their timeout. I'm surprised they didn't use it there. I was expecting That was it. the time to use it. Then you just put yourself under so much pressure. I definitely think it as well, James, about NRG struggles this weekend. Squishy misses his touch. No, 1v1 play, TRK with no angle to play with, which runs into another brick wall. It's been the NRG defense for most of this series. Do you think NRG looking a bit more shaky now? Oh, there's no doubt about it, Johnny. We've seen him make a few mistakes, even that one hit from Garrett off the wall that led to the goal for Sandrock. This is really when you start sweating. That, you know, not only are you worried about oh. losing the series, but there's oh. that added pressure of the reverse sweep. Look at Justin, though. 100 boost, but he's pretending he's got none. He's just using zero. Another clear down the middle. That's something Sandrock have got to be careful of, but no energy player there this time. Yeah, that was something they were getting punished for in the first three games. Now NRG holding back a little bit more. They're letting Sandrock play their game. Is that something that they're going to end up regretting? Sandrock, though, still bouncing the ball into the midfield quite a bit. Something that they need to avoid, because once NRG get that confidence back under themselves, they will see that, and they will take the opportunity as it comes to them off the backboard. Justin sets what it pass. up, and Squishy couldn't find the power on the shot. And it looked like that whole play was set up by a pre-flip hit bouncing off the backboard. NRG coming close on that play. Excellent effort, the creativity there. But Sandrock's defense has been annoying for NRG, to say the least. Still, tie game at halftime. Tie series if Sandrock win this one. Garrett G with a clean beat. NRG get another look at the blue half. Shot on target. Would have been... I, I get so scared every time I'm going <laughs> to see a demo. Yeah, you think the demo's going to be there, but Ahmad is smartly up in the back wall away from it. So, you know, it would have been a good idea if the demo connects, but Ahmad, pervy to it this time. Senzo, that 100 boost did not want to play ball this time around. Still, he's perfectly happy with 30. TRK. I think the rest of Sandrock are very happy. It's become a very aerial focused oh. game between the two of them does mean that those demo plays and roughhousing from NRG is less effective. Yeah, I mean, there's re not really a chance to roughhouse. You saw TRK accept that ball graciously and stay behind it for uh, the 50 to come in. Okay. And now that shot! <laughs> Testing TRK, but he passed with oh flying my. colors. I mean, end-to-end -end stuff here with these redirects. Sandrock haven't had those nervy moments in defense this game like they did in the previous one, but at the same time, they've not had as many big chances. Ooh. There's one! Justin saves it, follow-up Senzo is slow. NRG just hits the ball away. NRG are just clearing at the moment. Waiting for that big pass into the middle. There it is, Squishy! Oh, what a save! TRK pops it to the corner as well. Of course it's TRK, it's always TRK! The man has got no bounds to the saves that he can create. Yeah. And Sandrock <laughs> Gaming maintain nil-nil. And I blinked and I missed it. We've got a minute left. Oh. Maybe TRK can provide oh. the goal that they need. Up comes another shot. Pay to the other side, but you can see there's blue cards everywhere. Oh, Never, oh my goodness! Up. Everybody's gone. Ah, oh, man, he's got the time to set up. Can he find it? No. Garrett is back on the field. Oh. But this is unrelenting from Sandrock. NRG on the back foot. They're holding on. That's a brilliant 50 by Justin. Buying NRG some time. This has been devastating for NRG. Low boost. Trying to survive that double demo, which has resulted in all this position and power. And now a mid-air oh. pass attempt. The pre-jump gonna give NRG a chance. Squishy, oh. 50. Oh. Oh. But not by another. Still the attack going on. TRK has to get a good hit. Oh. How confident oh is TRK goodness. every single time? He let the ball bounce down before taking it. Here's oh. the shot I'm not taking time as well. How much boost can Sanro Gaming hold on to? Now they're the ones feeling the pressure. They don't want to go the easy way. Another OT is just seconds away. NRG oh. coming in. Ripping it wide open. There's a oh. shot. Justin <laughs> with three seconds left. He's that guy. Justin with a big time goal. NRG. 
How many times do they have to do it? Now look out for the Sandra kickoff strats. They've got many in their back pocket. What's it going to be? Let's take a look then. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Senzo has to avoid being hit. He's still being hunted down. TRK provides the assist. Can they keep this alive Ooh. now? Still in the air, but there it is. Huge dunk for NRG. He finishes the series. That was a lot closer than I think it looked two games ago. NRG guaranteed the <laughs> NA versus EU Grand Final. Wow, Speechless. Gaming, what oh, a stand. Man. They did not make that easy for NRG. Hey, that they made that easy for us. <laughs> that's, as far, that's as far away from easy as you could get. All these overtimes, even the threat of overtime in that series. Sandrock pushed NRG to the brink. And what's that going to mean to them as well? Squishy muffins. Heads over. There's the fist bumps. Sandrock wanted this match for so long. We've waited so long to get them on this stage. Lads, I think they delivered. Well, what experience that is for them. And they've already got that top eight secure. If they can do that two more times, Middle East is sending three teams to Worlds <laughs> instead of two. So they're fighting for the region and they're doing a great job while doing so. Hey, you know, <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't call TRK out in game one because <laughs> if he started like that at the get-go, Hey, this series might have been over a long time ago. See, for NRG, though, the promising thing is they did really well surviving the mechanical storm that is Sandrock Gaming. They've got another matchup just like that tomorrow, and they look like they're ready for it. And, and another thing, just to shout out, squishy, low boost defense. It, it's I've been watching it on the team streams for quite some time. I've been saying it, I, and I believe it, squishy is the best third man that NA has to offer. I'm going to say the hardest thing I've ever said in my entire Rocket League career. Oh, yeah? Yummy Cheeseman was right. He <laughs> said Squishy was the player to watch. <laughs> and my goodness, did Squishy step up. It wasn't flashy, but my goodness, was all of it effective. NRG are always that North American consistent. They're the constant of the region, and they are constantly in the battle for championships. We might have been gone for two years, but they will always be around.